Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly love reading for the 6th through the 12th of June, 2021. I hope you guys are doing really well. I do want to take just a second to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore it may not resonate with everyone. Um, if it's not resonating with you, simply check your other signs and placements and see if those readings might resonate just a little bit better. Um, if you'd like a private reading, there are directions in the box beneath this video, and I will be happy to get that set up for you. Um, also, keep in mind in a general reading that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and also time is variable. So let's go ahead and get started, Taurus. Spirit, can I have the energy of Taurus, please? Taurus in love. Taurus. With the energy of Taurus. All right. So Taurus, we start out with the King of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Hierophant. All right. Very nice energy. So you're definitely focused on emotional fulfillment here. This could actually be a long-term um, a long-term commitment that you are involved in. Um, and if you're not, you're definitely focused on it. Um, and focused upon the commitment of it. You may um, be seeking advice re regarding this, or you may actually be um, looking to a spiritual advisor uh, regarding, you know, marriage for some of you. Yeah, with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups, you, you may very well be um, either looking to start a family. You may be talking to a spiritual advisor regarding that. You could also be talking to um, someone about a marriage, getting, you know, getting things lined up for a marriage. Um, it is action-oriented, though, so um, you are definitely coming across this week as being action-oriented. Um, you are coming across like a boss, so it's good energy here, Taurus. Um, definitely focused on, you know, commitment and emotional fulfillment within a relationship and it seems like you're willing to do your part you're looking at what you need to do um, with regard to that now let's see who you are connecting with spirit who is taurus connecting with who is taurus connecting with all right so taurus we have the page of coins we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, and we have the Lovers in reverse. Okay, so Taurus, the person that you're connected with, it appears as if this person just can't walk away from you. Um, the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So um, be careful, though, because they may not be feeling completely fulfilled in this connection, but they're not walking away. There's something here that they're they're feeling like they can't walk away. Um, so be careful about that. But it does appear that there's a big decision that they need to make. So this person is on the verge of making a big decision. I feel like they are kind of delaying it because the lovers are in the reverse. Um, so there's a delay in the, this decision here. Um, it's a big decision in love. And it looks to me like that decision would be whether or not to level this um, connection up, to, to level it up, to take it up a notch, which is what you're focused on. <clears throat> so um, let's see the energy of the connection. Show me the energy of the connection. Okay, well, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So that is, that is definitely some steady energy, and that's good. So in the past, the energy here, Taurus, might have been um, kind of erratic in and out. Um, in fact, one or the other could have been something of a player. But the energy between the two of you now is very steady. Let me see um, what is directly affecting this connection. What is directly affecting it? Wow. Okay, let's see where that card stops beautiful okay so we have the king of swords in the reverse interesting um so you might be dealing with an air sign 
Uh, if so, that would be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius um, who could be directly affecting this connection somehow. Doesn't have to be the person that you're you're connected with. It could be anybody um, who might be directly affecting this connection. Um, and I can tell you that if it is a person that's connect that's uh, affecting this connection, they're angry. So it's either a situation where there's anger that is affecting the connection, or it's a person that is affecting this connection, and it it has to do with anger. What is the outcome at the end of the week? What is the outcome? Okay, you have the strength card. I love this card. Um, so this is the strength card. And basically, at the end of the week, you're going to have the strength, Taurus, to overcome whatever um, this obstacle here is. So whatever this, whether it's an angry situation or an angry person, um, I do see you overcoming it by the end of the week. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Magician, but it is in the reverse. So underlying energy here is a um, inability to manifest what it is that you're trying to achieve. So there may be some frustration here or even feelings of inadequacy, feelings um, from somebody here that they just don't have all the tools they need to make this happen. Could be you, could be the other person. Um, so there, that's underlying energy. So let's, um, let's clarify, Taurus. Why is the King of Wands here? Okay, so we have the Five of Coins, and we have the Sun in Reverse. So, so you're taking action here, Taurus, um, and I feel as if I feel as if you're you're taking action, but it's something hidden. There's some some there's a either there's a loss, or someone is being left out in the cold. But you're not revealing this. This is being kept quiet. Either that or you don't know about it. But I I don't think so. Because you're coming in as the king of wands in your energy. So that's action oriented. So Taurus, it would appear that you may be leaving someone out in the cold. Or, or there's some kind of a loss here that you don't know about. Hmm. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here for Taurus? Okay, so we have the King of Cups, Water Energy. Um, we have the Seven, I mean Six of Swords, I'm sorry, Six of Swords. And we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, alright, so we have two Kings here. Okay, so we have two Kings here. Um, yeah. So you may be moving forward, um, Taurus, you may be moving forward in love with um, someone other than the person that you are in a long-term connection with because you're focused on the Ten of Cups. You're focused on emotional um, fulfillment, but w when I look at this, so that's that's the love. You're opening your heart. You're, you're focused on love and emotional fulfillment, but you're moving forward from the King of Pentacles, from the, the partner, the current partner. And that would be taking action, leaving someone out in the cold. Um, Taurus, it looks almost as if you have met someone else. Um, why is the Hierophant here? Now, the roles could be reversed, so if they are, you know, just place yourself where you belong in the story. Um, that's very common in a general reading. All right, so we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Knight of Swords. So you may be seeking advice in the situation, in order to make a decision. So there may be a decision here that you're trying to make, but with the Knight of Swords, there's something, there's some dishonesty involved, or either that or you're not really speaking your truth. So 
you may be you may be um, seeking advice. It would have to do with change, and I don't think you're you're revealing it. I think that you're trying to make a decision. You're seeking advice, Taurus, but you're not you're not speaking about it. You're keeping it quiet. It's hidden, and it has to do with possibly leaving someone that you're in a long term commitment because you may have you may have found another person that you are opening your heart to that you believe you could have full um, emotional fulfillment with but if that's the case you'll be seeking advice from someone let's look at the energy of this person okay why is the page of coins here that's a page of coins here There's that King of Swords again. So we have the King of Swords affecting the situation. So again, that um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, very strong. Um, and so what this is telling me is that you, it, well, that would be the other person. So whoever this is that's affecting the situation, it's this person that you're involved with. It's the, this the person who's affecting your situation, it is the person here, okay? And I feel like they have the opportunity to level up this situation, to bring it to another level, and they've decided not to do that. They're angry, though. Why is the Eight of Cups here? But I don't think that they know... Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, the Emperor, and there's the Eight of Cups. Okay, so they're unable to walk away, but that's temporary. So you both, <laughs> wow, you both have, <laughs> you both have um, interest elsewhere, Taurus. They're not walking away from the connection just yet, though, for some reason. But they they plan to, and so do you. You are finding emotional fulfillment elsewhere. You have the King of Cups, and they are planning to take action and walk away, but they can't do it right now because they are focused on a Queen of Cups. Interesting. Um, why is the lovers in reverse? Stuck. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Cups. So there's a big decision this person has to make and they're, they're putting it off. Because they're in a very stuck energy. They, uh, and they're, they're really not trying to make a decision. They're kind of just, they're, they're trying to be, just not have to move, honestly. So they're, they're stuck. They're really literally stuck. And I feel like their energy is one where they're kind of not appreciating what's been given to them. Um, they can't, for some reason, walk away from this connection right now, but they plan to. And they don't plan to, to level it up. Um, but there's committed energy here. So why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. 
So you're both being patient. Um, you're being very patient, Taurus. I think you're being very patient. You're not really speaking your truth. You're holding back information. And I, I think that you're planning. You're planting seeds elsewhere. You're planting seeds. You're planning. You're being very patient. The person you're connected with, um, I think that they're feeling betrayed over something. And they're healing. So they're healing from that energy. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Aries energy here as well. Um, why is the King of Swords here? We have the Hangman in reverse. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so... There's anger, enough anger to go around. You're looking at the situation differently. You're looking at this connection differently than you used to. Um, and I feel like you're, you're growing impatient. You're being patient in the situation, but you're growing impatient on some level. You definitely have more clarity. You're looking at it from a different perspective. You're seeing it differently. And I think that makes you a little bit angry sometimes, Taurus. Um, the person that you are connected with over here, they're angry because they're trying very hard to become single. But for some reason, they're unable to walk away right now. Um, and that's making them angry. They're unable to be um, financially independent is what it looks like. And so that is making them angry. Let's, um, let's see um, three for the outcome all right i'm gonna have to fish that card off the floor moment please okay so at the end of the week we have the strength card so I do think, Taurus, that it's going to take a lot of strength for you to, to deal with this. But it, this looks, in a sense, there's, a, there's victory here. Because in this particular deck, this, uh, this figure has gone to war and there's like flags behind them. All right. So you may be going to war, okay, and you may need and require all your strength to do this. I do feel as if you may block this person. Um, you're not going to be telling them what your plans are. I definitely see that. But you are very clear on what your plans are. I don't see you revealing it to this person. And I, I, you may very well block them. Um, and I feel like you, you feel that you don't have a choice. So I do think there's someone you have your eye on, though. And you're wanting to move away from this person and towards the person that you have your eye on. I really do. Um, the person you're connected with over here, I think they're going to require a lot of strength too. They're fighting some outside battles. Um, now, these are battles, these are obstacles that they're overcoming. It doesn't even look like it's involving you. It, and it's really requiring a lot of strength for them to to overcome whatever these are that are outside of this connection. Um, and there is deception that is coming to light. So they're either discovering something that has been deceptive or something that they've done is that's deceptive is coming to light. But in either event, I would expect to see some of that at the end of the week. It's going to take a lot for this person to have to deal with it. So I, I just feel like both of you, Taurus, have your eye on someone else. And I feel like you are going to be moving forward away from this person. You're going to leave this person out in the cold. Um, but you're doing it very quietly. You may be seeking advice. You're not really telling this person what's going on. And I see that continuing. I think it'll be successful. Um, and you're being very patient about it. Um, I don't... I just think you see this relationship very differently now than you used to. Um, the person you're connected with, 
I, I have to say, Taurus, they also have their eye on someone else, and they are also planning to move forward. They cannot for some reason, and it, it honestly looks like it might be financial, um, and they're angry about that. There's a sense of anger about that. So they do have outside battles they're fighting, and something, some kind of deception is going to come to light about that. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. So I do see that you're both very guarded. You're both holding on um, to the connection right now for some reason, um, even though you both seem to have interest elsewhere. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it's a very strange energy. I, I just don't understand it. Because it doesn't seem like it's on one side, and I may be wrong, and, you know, please don't blow up my comments if that's the truth. Um, you know, just take what resonates for you, leave the rest for someone else. But um, I just, it, it seems like uh, you both may have interest elsewhere. Let's go ahead and pull a oracle card and see what, what comes. And, you know, the truth of it is, is that... Relationships are very complicated. It's very easy to sit on the outside and say, oh, I don't get this, and I don't know why you don't do this. But the truth is, is that relationships are very complicated. There are a million different things that are involved in connections, and we don't get to judge other people's relationships, you know? We all do the best we can. All right, so the card that you have says enthusiasm. I celebrate everything in my life, and I live in limitless joy. And you know, Taurus, I do believe that that is the direction that you are trying to move in, which is good energy. Um, I do think your energy is moving in a good direction, and so I say keep moving forward and, you know, make the decisions that are in your best interest, whatever those decisions might be. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Like and share the video. Definitely drop me a comment. And until I see you next week, namaste.